Hello and welcome back to another of my episodes of PS Crafty DIY. Today I'll be making my first engraved sign. A friend of mine called Mark brought me this piece of wood and asked me if I can engrave a sign in it. He specifically asked for a sign saying 924 Crew on it. It's the name of a machine he works on. I thought this could be a nice project for my cheap rotary tool kit. If you're interested to see my full review of this kit, follow the link at the top. The piece of wood Mark gave me needs a bit of cleaning and squaring up, so I'll do a few passes on my homemade jointer. If you're interested to see how I build this jointer, check out the link at the top. First I clean up the face, and then I square the bottom to it. There we go, that should stand up straight now. I then mark a few lines as a guidance on where all my letters and numbers might be. My selection of carving bears is pretty limited at the moment, so I need to use whatever came in a kit. And I've never done any sign before, so the design I'm going to make here needs to be fairly simple. Mark's machine has a massive counter on it, with red digital numbers, and I think he's very used to looking at it. So I have decided to do my numbers here in similar digital fashion. Is it simple enough? We shall see. I set the speed on my rotary tool to about 1500 rpm and I begin to engrave. I've selected the ball shape pair for this job and just gently letting it glide on the surface, guiding it slowly in between the drawn lines, taking my time as don't want to slip too far. Once I have it outlined I can go over it again, use a little pressure and cut in a bit deeper. I then repeat the same process while engraving the other lines, getting more confident in guiding the tool. And this is how you learn, you develop a feel for the pressure you need to apply and you develop a feel of how the tool is cutting in. I then carry on working on my first number, noticing I'm getting much faster with each line I do. So let's cut them in a bit deeper, making it more pronounced and level them all to the same depth. I can switch to diamond inverted cone now and tidy up the edges. And I'm definitely more confident with this one. Time to draw number 2. But let's try something different here. Since I really like how easy it is to cut straight lines with this inverted cone, I'll try to apply what I've learned onto the second number I have to engrave. And it's not going too bad actually. So it's much better to use the inverted cone to outline where I want to be and then switch back to the ball bear to cut in a bit deeper. Alright, so now that I know what I'm doing, let's move on then. Onto the crew side, which I will tackle with the same inverted cone. Then switch to needle cone for a quick tidy up. There we go, after I clean, it's ready for paint. I'm using what I have, so high temperature rated red caliper paint and black hammerite. Only the best stuff for you, Mark. Now that the paint is fully cured, I'll give it a sundown and a good clean. I'll cut piece of wood for a stand and get ready to apply a varnish on. When fully cured, I can glue these two pieces together and brand my masterpiece, of course. If you're interested how I made this branding logo, follow the link at the top. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share or subscribe. It really helps me create more.